Every person born into this life carries on his shoulders an invisible but formidable weight, which is the expectations of others for him. Parents give birth to a child, raise a child, and everyone expects their children to live a life worth living in the future. Maybe the children don't become some big shots, but at least, they have to do something useful in life. That expectation is justified, because it is both a right and a dream of parents. When in love, everyone must have expectations of their lover. Now, they rarely dream of a cottage with two golden hearts. Romance can be a temporary factor. It can be killed by a harsh reality. Success helps people feel secure. It is also a justified expectation in today's life. Every fan put expectations on their favorite player and team every time they take the field. What most football lovers want from them is to win. Of course, who watches football without expecting their favorite team to win? After all, all expectations are rooted in love. Parents who love their children want them to grow up and be happy. The two people who love each other aspire to build a prosperous family life. And of course, I love that player, that team, so I expect them to score goals and win against the opponent. If you don't love, you don't have to have expectations. Anyone can do whatever they want, don't care. Everyone is born with a mission. You do not think that, you are just a mediocre person, with no talent, and you may live a life of laziness, to live to indulge. Your most basic mission, is to live worthy of being a member of society. People often think that, only special people have to bear the weight of expectations. Right. To your parents, you are special. The child they were born with is always special to them, even an angel in their eyes. With your lover, you are also a special person. If you weren't special, would your partner pay attention to you? People always default. Their choice is the best, so their lover is the one, who possesses the most unique points. Therefore, everyone must be ready to accept expectations. People who set expectations come from love. So how does the person receiving the expectations feel? Happy or unhappy? Maybe both. Every time in class, open the book, and the image of your parents, with expectant eyes appears in your mind. Sometimes, you feel helpless, because three years on, you still have done nothing so that they can be proud. Although they have never blamed you, you still feel uneasy and uncomfortable in your heart. It's because you think, you've betrayed their expectations. Many boys are still struggling, racking their brains to think of a way to start up. They fear that if they fail, their lover will no longer be by their side. They are afraid that, the girl they love will have to exchange the years of her youth, to be with an empty-handed person. Even though the girl hasn't blamed them, they are still under pressure. It's because they think, they don't meet their lover's expectations. Both Messi, Ronaldo, and Maymar on the field, also carry a worry, not being able to score. FIFA doesn't ask them to score every time they play, but they understand what fans, teammates, and coaches want. It's the motivation that pushes their legs to run faster, their shots more decisive, and more accurate, but it can also be the pressure that holds them back. Those who set expectations because of love those who receive expectations are also because of love invisible a person creates pressure a person puts pressure on himself thereby making life difficult for others and his own don't tell your children you have to be on top you have to be the big shot don't tell your lover i want you to be like this like that person don't tell a player to have to score a brace or a hat trick let them make their own decisions if you love, put your trust in, and believe that, person can do it with all their abilities. As for the result, it is inherently a resonance of many things, abilities, efforts, help, and even luck. Don't expect results, it's pressure on the other side. Because when you expect results, you accidentally map out a world, they may not belong in. What if you expect it and people can't do it? Love instead of blaming. Sometimes silence is needed. Love is when you know people fail, but don't blame them. 
If you blame their failure, and are ashamed of other people's ridicule, for that failure, don't be proud to assert. You know how to love. Accompanying when success, is nothing compared to being together in failure. No one has the right to decide the fate of another, when that person does not meet his expectations. Love and expectations, should be accompanied by faith, sympathy, and tolerance with all your heart.